Hey guys, it's Majid Like Magic. This video is all about how and when to follow up and schedule follow up appointments. So I help entrepreneurs and leaders just like you become more successful in their business by developing better relationships so that you can actually get more customers, create a bigger impact and have a bigger in income. In this tip, I want to share with you some strategies and some tactics for getting the follow up. So first of all, follow up ASAP as soon as possible. So if you're meeting someone, what is the earliest time that you should book an appointment? Book it on the spot, book it right then. Okay. If you're meeting somebody and you have established a reason important enough for you to follow up in a one-on-one -on -one conversation, whether that's on the phone or face to face, do it right then. What I do is I pull out my phone and I say, Hey, I've got my calendar right here. You want to just book a time right now? And then we lock it down. Now, if there's not a good reason, if we haven't established a reason why we should meet, then it becomes like, uh, uh, it's awkward. Why, why would we book an appointment? So you always want to get there first and then, you know, you can throw it into the conversation. Hey, you know what? We should, we should probably grab a coffee and talk more about this, especially if you're in an event where there's lots of people that you want to meet and you can't like go into all the details of it. As soon as you get to a point where it's interesting enough that you know that there might be something we can do with each other, something we can do to help each other that, that necessitates a meeting, pull out the phone, follow up. Now, if that doesn't happen on the spot, the next best thing is as soon as possible when you get home. So you get their business card, they have your card, you send them an email, you say, Hey, really nice meeting you. Really enjoyed talking to you about such and such. I have a few ideas that I think might be useful to you. Uh, and a few people I think I might be able to introduce you to. Maybe we should have a quick conversation and, and follow up one on one. Okay. Now you can decide phone or face to face. Personally, I reserve face to face for the very important meetings. Either the message is extremely delicate, um, or the relationship is highly valuable because a face-to-face -face just takes a lot of time. Okay. Much more efficient is the phone. So as soon as possible, same day, 24 hours max, send the email and say, why don't we jump on the phone? Here's a few times that work for me. Give them a few times. And if you don't hear, from, if you don't hear back from them, uh, within 24 hours, call them anyway, call them unsolicited, no appointment, just give them a quick phone call. And you say, Hey, not sure if you got my email, uh, wanted to follow up with you one on one on the phone, uh, is now a good time to talk or you want to set up a time? Probably just 15 minutes is all it's going to take. Okay. Then, then you're either going to talk right then, or you're going to set up a time. You want to get to the higher bandwidth communication. So you want to go from email to phone to face to face, uh, or if it doesn't necessitate a face to face, stay on the phone, but going back and forth on emails, big waste of time, hard to develop a relationship by email, lots of delay. It's not a conversation. It's a very low bandwidth communication method. So how and when to follow up and book appointments. So follow up as soon as possible, book an appointment as soon as possible. Uh, and of course, don't take on appointments that are not valuable to you. And then ongoing follow-up uh, is, is a bit of an art, all right? You want just enough, but not too much. Not too much that it's not relevant and they start ignoring your correspondence, but just enough that they're not forgetting you. So that might be every week, every month, depending on the relationship or the level of uh, urgency that their need might be that you might be able to solve, okay? In terms of finding the right time, I've used a number of online booking softwares. One is called the one I currently use now is called Calendly, Calend L Y Calendly. Uh, there's uh, you can book dot me and these integrate with your online calendar so that, so you can send them a link and say, pick a time. I find it's a little bit impersonal. So I, I usually prefer to make a phone call and say, Hey, when's a good time for you? I got my calendar open right now. Why don't we find something? How's Thursday morning? Yeah. You got 10 o'clock. How's that coffee shop down the street? Great. Let's, let's do that and just lock it down instead of the back and forth, back and forth, the back and forth 
is not only inefficient, but it can actually detrimentally affect your relationship because you go, man, it is hard to get an appointment with this person on both ends because you're two busy professionals and you know sometimes your calendars don't align. It's a frustrating, it's a frustrating experience. Better to just pick up the phone and say, hey, I got my calendar in front of me. You want to book a time right now? Let's do it. Boom, lock it down. All right, so I hope that's helpful for you for how and when to follow up and book appointments. More quick tip videos like this can be found at Profitable Training, sorry, Profitable Networking Course.com. Profitable Networking. And we are we're launching a mastermind group where we are going to work together to grow our business and uh, improve our relationships and get more customers so we can make a bigger impact and a bigger income. And I'd love for you to be part of that mastermind group. Uh, so check out the course, check out the page, ProfitableNetworkingCourse.com. I hope to see you in the group and I hope you pick up a copy of the course so that you can grow your business and make a bigger impact. Thank you guys for watching this video. My name is Majid Like Magic. Thank you.